Hi, my name's Chloe. I blog at Lashes of Lifestyle, a food and lifestyle blog. Today we are making mac and cheese with pulled chicken. It's a very budget friendly recipe, works out about a pound a portion and it's perfect for making ahead or um, making for all your flatmates. So the first thing I'm going to do is chop one chia batter into one centimetre um, cubes or pieces and this is going to be used to top the mac and cheese at the end to give it a nice crispy finish. Pop the bread onto the baking tray, space it out nicely, we're going to drizzle it with a little bit of oil and then we're going to pop that into the oven for just about five minutes just for it to crisp up slightly. After about five minutes, the bread should start to look golden. So take it out of the oven. Obviously be really careful. And then you're gonna leave that to the side whilst you prep the sauce. For the sauce, you want to start with 30 grams of butter and you're gonna melt that in a large saucepan. Do it over quite a low heat so you don't overcook it and it doesn't start to burn to the bottom of the pan. And then once that's melted, you want to add one clove of chopped garlic, as well as three tablespoons of French's mustard. And cook that for about a minute. Just give it a good stir with a whisk. After that, you want to add three tablespoons of flour to the mixture. Again, make sure the heat is low because this is going to turn it very thick um, and you don't want it to burn. Then you want to take a spoon, and mix it in very well to form a roux. Um, so you need to make sure you're continuously stirring to get it all off the bottom. You then want to start adding the milk. Now we're going to use 600 ml of whole milk for this recipe, but you want to add it a little bit of at a time. You don't want it to get too runny too quickly. You want it to combine well. So add a bit to start going, get the whisk back in. Don't worry if it's a bit lumpy at the beginning. It will soon even out as you add more milk and as you continue to whisk. You can also see that the French's mustard's giving it a really nice yellow colour. And then once you've got all of the milk in, you want to keep stirring. Turn it up slightly to bring it to bring it to like a medium heat. Um, Make sure it doesn't boil, just want to simmer it slightly and it's going to thicken. You need to continuously stir to make sure that it doesn't burn to the bottom of the pan. No one likes the burnt taste in the mac and cheese. So once, once your sauce has thickened, it probably takes about 10 minutes or so, depending on the heat you've got it. You'll be able to see that it's, it's still runny, but it's a lot thicker than when you first added all the milk. You want to add just a tiny bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper. Then you want to bring the heat back down. At this point, you're gonna add in 300 grams of cheddar cheese. Now, I like my cheese mature, brings a richer flavor, um, but you can use like a lighter cheddar cheese if you prefer it a little bit creamier. And then you want to pop in your macaroni. I've got 400 grams of dried macaroni that I cooked for about 10 minutes in a saucepan of um, boiling salted water. So I'm just gonna pop that into the cheese mixture now. Again, you wanna make sure that's all stirred in really well. You also want to add about 40 grams of the parmesan. You want to leave a little bit for the top. Today we're going to use pulled chicken in this mac and cheese recipe. So I have got some leftover chicken from last night, which I have left in some chicken gravy with some mixed herbs. Um, I'm using leftover chicken just because that's what I have in the fridge. But if you have leftover lamb, you could mix that with rosemary and some gravy or if you have leftover cooked ham, that's really good in mac and cheese too. So it's all about using up those leftovers, um, avoiding waste, we don't like waste. And give that a good stir so it's mixed in nicely. So next thing, we need to pop this in a baking dish, ready to go in the oven. And you wanna carefully transfer the mac and cheese from the saucepan to the baking dish, being careful you don't wanna lose any. So when you've transferred the mac and cheese, into your baking dish. Pop the baked chia batter over the top. Just sprinkle it on. And then that needs to go in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes, just so it can brown nicely on top. So we're gonna pop that in. 
After about 20 to 25 minutes in the oven, it should look golden brown on top. Um, it, sh it will still be bubbling away, so be careful, it will still be very hot. You can just serve it up. I quite like mine with um, some green vegetables or a side salad, or if you're in the mood for a lot of carbs, then garlic bread as well. This is one of my favourite simple dinners. It's really easy to make and very quick and always a crowd pleaser.